So guys, we are back and it took just somewhere around 24 hours or less than 24 hours. And now I got this email from Gray that says your USD account has been approved. So we received your request for virtual account and your request has been approved. Your bank details are ready. You can go ahead and start making transactions on your virtual account. So if we head over and I go back to accounts, you can see now that I have my account details. And this is actually a community federal savings bank account that I got. Um, this is of course USD denominated because that's the one I created, but I, st I still can create the euros and also the great um, Britain pounds. Yes. So, but for right now, I am going to link this to my Payoneer account, my Payoneer account. Please guys do not link this account to your PayPal account. And the reason is that on one of the recent videos I posted, one of us um, commented and said that they had their account blocked. And this happened just after they linked their account from Gray to their PayPal. So you can see here, this person says, um, PayPal recently blocked my account. I have not even used before. Um, and can you help resolving it? And as we're having a conversation, and this is why we also need to have conversations in the comment section so that we can learn from each other. So when we were talking, he said I had linked my gray bank account and also my access card. And I got a notification that I should provide card statement, but before I could do so two days after it was totally blocked. So as you can see here, guys, um, it seems like it could be from the gray account. I'm not sure, but I was going to link. I was actually going to link my um, the bank account I got from Gray to my PayPal, but now I'm not going to do it because of all these reports about Gray account maybe not working with PayPal. So what I'm going to do instead, because I know that works for sure, is link it to my Payoneer. So please guys do not link this for now to your PayPal. I'm going to try to link this Gray account to my one of my PayPal accounts that I, I can afford to lose and see for sure if this is the problem, if there's an issue with the account to get on Gray and PayPal. So um, watch out for that, but for now, um, um, don't do it don't link it to your paper so moving on you can see i have my account details so i'm going to go to my payoneer and quickly link this account to my payoneer so i'm going to go to bank and cards i'm going to click on bank accounts for withdrawal and i already have two bank accounts here and i'm going to i've already removed my my nara account that was the third one so now i'm going to click on add i'm going to say personal okay it's a checking account of course it's in my name so it should be personal so i'm going to say personal i'm going to choose the country to be the united states because that is what it is it's denominated in usd and we're going to click on next. And now I'm going to select the name of the bank. And yes, it's a community federal savings bank account. And then the name on the bank account is of course my name. So when it comes to the routing number, um, there are two routing numbers that are given to us here. We have the ACH routing number and the wire routing number, and this is the difference. So um, both of them are going to work, but um, the ACH transfers take a bit longer to process, but are usually free. They are also ideal if you're looking for a convenient way to pay bills um, electronically. But if you need the funds to arrive the same day or you want to make a cross-border payment, then a wire transfer is the best option. So it depends on which one you want. So for me, I think I want it faster and I know that the cost will not be that much different, but I want it to happen faster. So I'm going to choose um, the wire transfer um, routing number. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys there so that you know the difference. So I'm going to use the routing number there, the wire um, transfer routing number, and I'm going to click on, I confirm the bank details above and click on next. Now that I've entered in all of my details, I'm going to click on add bank account and you can see bank account added. So account approval takes up to 30 minutes and we will email you when you can start withdrawing to this account. So that's how you can add the account. So if you go back now to, uh, to banks, you can see pending approval. So I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try to change the name of this, the nickname for this account so that I know where it's going, it's coming from. So I'm going to say gray. So that's how you add your account. And once this account um, is approved, I can now start to transfer. In the next video, I'm going to do a transfer and show you guys how you can send your money from, from Payoneer to your Gray account and then from your Gray account to your Nigerian bank account. So um, I will um, encourage you to get this account and let me know if you have any problems creating this account in the comment section. If you already have an account, let me know how is it going for you? Are you enjoying this? Is this something that you will advise? Have you had any issues using the Gray um, account? So yeah, that will be it for this video guys and I will see you in the next one.